So this is an emulator called PlayStation 4 EMX or PS4 EMX. It's supposed to be the world's first PlayStation 4 emulation project, but it isn't, and I'll show you why. I'm not an expert, but I know enough to tell you why it's bullshit. And a lot of this code has nothing to do with this supposed alpha. Nothing works. You load the BIOS, nothing happens. And I'll look at the dumped executable. I'll show you why this isn't even fully open source. Developers lied to us about it being open source. A lot of it's closed source. And I'll generally just show you why it isn't real. The code in this emulator is kind of interesting. It looks like they've made the correct first steps for any emulation project and gone and defined a bunch of stuff. But considering the the amount of time that this emulator has been around um, they've done nothing other than define a bunch of constant variables and constant characters there's no real attempt at like the beginnings of an interpreter or anything nothing's really happening I mean they've they've started it and it looks like they've made the create the first proper steps towards making an emulator, but considering how long it's been around, nothing has really been done. Nothing significant has been emulated, and a lot of this code is completely irrelevant to this um, alpha window that they have here, which is basically a window that does nothing else other than lie to you. And we're going to look through the um, dumped executable later, and you'll find that none of these files here, the AMD 8664HPP headers, or the GPU, GCN defines, or the input, or the media controller, or anything, are actually used in here. The only things that are used in here are C++ files that aren't in the GitHub repository. They're completely separate from the rep repository, and they claim it's an open source emulator, but it seems like they've hidden a lot of um, the most important code. The GUI. Now, this is a, um, a JIT clone of the latest source code. A few months back, they had source code that made it really obvious that they weren't making any attempt to actually load any firmware what which is supposed to be the first thing you do in this is load the BIOS or firmware image which is supposedly this file here which is a binary dump I guess now what used what it used to do in this um, GUI source code here is it would check inside of the bin file the string Sony Computer Entertainment and once it verified that this bin file had Sony Computer Entertainment written inside of it it would automatically close now since I saw that a few months ago it's been removed but um, they've kind of made it less less obvious let me prove this to you loading the firmware instantly closes it and this supposed firmware that they're telling us to use if you look at it under a hex editor it's got the words the first thing you see is comp Sony Computer Entertainment Inc followed by hundreds of thousands of lines of nothing just empty filler data with no purpose in life other than to create more bytes for the sake of looking more like a BIOS file and then some irrelevant shit at the end so it's obviously a fake BIOS there's no actual attempt at actually there's no actual attempt to dump a BIOS happening I don't think you can actually dump a BIOS from the PS4 at the moment I'm not sure but let's do an experiment let's make a fake BIOS so, let's call it 
BIOS dot bin. You know what? Let's call it BIOS dot fuck. Yeah, yeah, you know what? Fuck you. Let's put the string Sony Computer Entertainment. I think it's just Sony Computer Entertainment. Fuck. Alright, now let's save it. Let's close it and let's open PS4 Emx. Load the BIOS dot fuck and it does exactly what it said to in the old source code immediately close all it did was check for that one string in a fake fucking BIOS I just made right now and closes on purpose immediately but if you look at this under a text editor in uh, hex it doesn't really show anything, it's all encrypted and you can't really see anything other than what you'd see in the menus as hex but if we dump it while it ran it kind of decrypts it a little bit and if we look at this in hex we can see that this supposed um, open source emulator isn't actually open source because it's using a bunch of um, C++ files that aren't included in the source code. sysandthreadmanager.cpp is not included. Let me prove that to you right now. Nope, not there. And this also shows that this was built in debug mode and not release mode because it's showing you exactly where the C++ files are located. So this is C documents and settings slash April. Presumably the person who made it. Slash my documents slash test CCP. That's kind of an interesting folder to put an entire PS4 virtualization emulation project into. A fucking folder called test CCP as if it's some kind of like homework assignment. Now this thing here, flashbios.ccp, is probably what they moved that um, Sony Computer Entertainment string check into because it used to be in the repository and a lot of people pointed it out that it all it does is check for a certain string and close so they removed that to make it less obvious and yeah there's really another one main ccp that's not in there that's not in the source code what the hell so they've basically hidden a lot of the source code from us and fed us a bunch of fluff to make it look like an actual emulator when it when in reality it's just a window that doesn't do anything let's check out the other stuff I like this implies that they've actually already emulated the entire system in low-level emulation implying they mapped the entirety of the CPU which isn't even that well documented yet and coded the programmed the emulator in high-level emulation which is an entire fucking project in and of itself I don't know how they managed to supposedly do it in like both fashions with only these two fucking C++ files and let's let's try run something that doesn't work what a surprise that doesn't work what a surprise boot up configuration oh that doesn't work either GPU settings feature not implemented yet gee I don't think the entire fucking emulator has been implemented yet sound settings oh that just doesn't work other hardware settings that doesn't work nothing fucking works let's take a look at their github page this is a web archive because if you look at the actual official page it doesn't exist anymore um, I think this may have been the result of me ridiculing them a bit um, I don't know if this co contributed to the deletion of this page directly but uh, shortly after I sent those tweets it disappeared from github though 
you still can do um, JIT, JIT clone if you want to copy the files because you've already downloaded everything but you can actually still copy the source code using this from the develop command prompt for Visual Studio 2015 if you want to for whatever reason but um, for science, what does this mean? Is that implying that it's like not real? But it's so bare. Is this a real effort? Yes, but the truth is without the right tool it's not possible. Yeah, yeah, this is basically just explaining that we don't have stuff we don't have a PlayStation four. We don't have anything basically. Donate to us. Uh, it's just a money-making scheme, scheme rather. The guy who owns this repository here, Gast Steam, has actually been put on the on the uh, Emenia's wall of shame here. There he is, for being a troll, an author of scams such as PS4 or the MX.